Here are a few questions to review what we have learned in this series on linear combination and spanning sets. Question number one is true or false? Explain your answer. So I'd like you to explain answers for each question and then listen to my suggestion. First one is vectors 0 minus 2 and 0 3 can be spanned by 0 1. So we are given two different vectors here and you have to answer that these can be spanned by 0 1. Part 2 is 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 so these are set of three vectors so these set of vectors is a spanning set of vectors in R3 so that is the second is it true or false so the given set 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 is a spanning set of vectors in R3 true or false part 3 3 times 1, 0 plus 5 times minus 1, 0 equals 2 minus 2, 0. It implies that 1, 0 and minus 1, 0 span R2. True or false? So take your time, answer the questions and then listen to my suggestion. Now, the very first one given to us is vectors 0, minus 2 and 0, 3 can be spanned by 0, 1. Is it true or false? So if we can span 0, minus 2 by 0, 1, that, that means we could write this as a linear combination. Now here there is only one vector. And what you notice here is that its component along x is 0. Do you see that? And the components for the given vectors is also 0. That means the given vectors are collinear with the vector which we want to span with. So they can be spanned as a scalar multiple. So we can always write 0 minus 2 as equal to minus 2 times 0, 1. And we can also write 0, 3 as equals to 3 times 0, 1. Do you see that? Now, these are scalar multiples. So, whenever you have scalar multiple, one vector has a scalar multiple of the other, then those vectors are collinear. But the idea is, you can write one as a linear combination. You can say the other part is 0, right? So, it's a linear combination. So, so you can span it and therefore, this statement is true. So it is important to note that if you are given only one vector to span with, in that case you can only span those vectors which are in the same line, right, which are parallel to the given vector. You cannot span a vector like 2 comma 3, right, because it won't have any component along the x-axis. That is the whole idea, right. Now, question Part 2 of this true or false is, we are given a spanning set. Now in this set you will notice, 1 is 1, 0, 0. It really means a unit vector along x-axis. It's your i. Now this one is 0, 1, 0. So that is a unit vector along y-axis. This is same as j. And then we have 0, 0, 0. 0, 0, 0 is a 0 vector. Right? Now for spanning, you cannot have a zero vector. That is important, correct? So that is why when we say this is a spanning set of vectors in R3, it is false. It is false since we are looking for non-zero vectors. So the criteria for spanning is that they should be non-zero and non-collinear. Only then they can span all the vectors in R3, all the vectors, right? So that is kind of important to understand. Now part 3 of this is 3 times 1, 0 plus 5 times minus 1, 0 equals 2 minus 2, 0. Let's check if it is true. 
So we get three times. So we can write this as we'll write write this as three minus five comma three times zero is zero, five times zero is zero zero. That is equal to minus two zero. So that's correct. Now so that means we have shown here that minus two zero, this vector can be written as a linear combination of these two vectors. Now the question is, it implies, does it imply that 1, 0 and minus 1, 0 span R2? The answer should be false. Why? These are collinear vectors, right? I can always write 1, 0, let me write, do it here, 1, 0 as equals to minus 1 times minus 1, 0, right? Since they are collinear, they cannot span all the vectors in R2, right? However, they can span the vectors where the y component is 0, which are parallel to these, right? Only those vectors can be spanned, not all vectors as we saw in the first case. It is as good as just writing spanning in terms of one vector. The other one is actually a scalar multiple of 1, 0, right? So this one is false. I hope it helps you to understand better this series, linear combination and spanning sets, right? Thank you.